Hello and welcome to this week's video tutorial on pins by the Canon. This will be the second board in chapter five, in section one of chapter five. Uh, the the lecture material has been presented in the slides prior to this, and um, this is based on a free book that's available for download on the World Shanghai Federation website. So for this second example, uh, a short analysis would be. Both colors would have uh, two cannons, two chariots, and two horses. Our black would also have two cannons, two chariots, two horses, five pawns, and a full guard. Red would also have a full guard, but it would like one pawn because the chariot had already captured the pawn to attack the uh, horse over here. Now, the main idea in this situation would be that black was now attacking this course over here and uh, however the chariot itself was placed in a precarious position so in these circumstances under such circumstances one of the most commonly used tactics by red would be to retreat the cannon retreat the cannon here and push the pawn over here so that the black chariot will be captured now uh, the moves that were given in the book with us red would push the pawn forward prevent the uh, black pawn from crossing the river, etc., and also prepare to play a C plus minus one. So at this point in time, uh, there were two black variations that were discussed. The first would be H3 plus two, which was the recommended sound move. The other would be C5 plus four, which is another commonly used tactic, whereby black will try to trip material to prepare in advance. So if red the red cannon retreated, black would simply move the cannon away and gain the advantage. However, this move uh, would not be applicable in this situation because instead of retreating or advancing a cannon, red can simply advance his chariot to apply a chariot pin to these two pieces and prepare to gain material by capturing the uh, black cannon. So, that is why C5 plus 4 would not be a viable option at this point in time. Instead, the sound move would be to play h3 plus 2. Now, wouldn't black be prepared? Wouldn't black lose his chariot in this manner? Uh, this would be <coughs> this would be a uh, a threat to capture the chariot. The chariot cannot retreat, or the elephant will capture it. Neither can it capture the horse, or the this cannon will capture it. So, after picking this move. Uh, which should lead, lead us to the theme of this board. Black would play c7 plus 8 for a sacrifice or for a pin, pinning this file over here. So there were three variations that were discussed in the board. In the first variation, <coughs> red would simply go c2 equals to 7 to trade material. The second variation would be c2 plus 5, and the third variation would be c2 equals to 1. Now let us examine the second variation, c2 plus 5. What will happen if red decided to ac accept the accept the trade? The black chariot would have now captured the horse and be moved to safety and red's earlier plans would have uh, been the uh, hard work would have been done for nothing and black would now be threatening to attack very aggressively along the central file and go for the moon iron bolt checkmate etc uh, c2 equals to 1 to move the chariot to safety sacrificing the horse uh, sacrificing the cannon so that uh, it, this would in turn be a trade off uh, so at this point in time it would appear that black would have would have uh, traded his Chariot for blacks, sorry for reds, cannon and horse. But in fact, black would now gain a gain a gain a piece in the process because at this point in time there are only two red chariots and one horse left, and one cannon. But black would have two cannons, one chariot and two horses. So black would have gained material in this instance, and the position of this cannon is very. Uh, vulnerable and the can the black can over here will now be attacking this very empty flank 
uh, there will be threats of a spotted cannon checkmate. The central cannon could also attack the central pawn. And <coughs> black will not only gain material but also come up tops in terms of position. So c2 equals to 1 is not viable. So what about the first variation, c2 equals to 7? A, a check by the black cannon. And because of this check, black could now be able to move an extra move of capturing the cannon. So at this point in time, material will be the same. Uh, one chariot, one one chariot, two horses, one cannon, one chariot, two horses, one cannon, for both colors. But in the process of trading material, black would now gain, the, gain some advantage. No. Red will be forced to retreat the elephant, otherwise uh, black could play a 4 plus 4. A pin by the chariot, forced, and black could now uh, advance the and as can be seen, black would have a significant advantage. Now the key move according to the authors was this move. C7 equals to 8 for the cannon pin. Uh, this would be also a sacrifice uh, if black if red accepted it. But uh, because of this move, black was able to gain the initiative. Now returning to the original position, I ran it through my computer program and it gave a different suggestion instead. Now the move given by the computer instead of pushing p3 plus 1 was c2 minus 1 whereby this would also be in fact a threat to capture the uh, black <coughs> chariot after red would push p3 plus 1. Now, in the recommended move by black could be H3 plus 2 as noted in the original variation. And instead of pushing the pawn, we would try to develop his left horse. Uh, this would also spoil any possibility of a cannon pin. Uh, black would be prepared to trade his chariot for red's two pieces. And now it will be the time for red to push the pawn to threaten the to force the trade and after trading material both colors would be would have this about the same material uh, red would have two chariots or black would have one but uh, red would have one cannon would have one cannon and one horse while black would have two cannons and two horses so this would be in fact a rather equal situation <clears throat> that is still on the board. Both colors would have now concentrated material preparing to storm the enemy's flank. So uh, it would be too early to tell <clears throat> to see what would happen in the game, but uh, Red would be much better off it than if he had played B3 plus 1. So, so I hope you have enjoyed this week's short video tutorial. Uh, and if you like the work that I've been doing, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. <clears throat>